So Android 13 Beta 1 has actually been released by Google and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top features and changes you need to know on this new beta version and if you're new here, just give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So the first thing I want to share with you is within the lock screen. When I actually installed this beta and then I try unlocking my device and swiped up to go to the section where I'm going to see my numbers to unlock my phone with a pin, I found that there was this enter pin at the top which was not in existence initially on any of the android versions and also when you look down here you can see emergency which was previously emergency call so that's the first changes i noticed when i actually installed this os and also when i proceed to go to my home screen and go to the wallpapers and style you can actually see that google has actually presented to us a new set of wallpaper colors and that is about 16 of them which you are going to be able to just choose when you're trying to just change your wallpaper on your device with the basic colors too we are being presented with another set of 16 colors too which we are going to be able to just choose and that is pretty much very cool so with that much said let's check out the new changes to within the media controls so when you now try playing a song on your google pixel phone you're going to see that the music player is actually going to have a curly or wiggle line when you are playing the song and that part shows the played section or the side which you have already listened and when you check out on the screen right here you can see this is very very cool and the animation is so so nice that it actually makes the android 13 just looks a bit more premium than the android 12 where you have a still or a stable just a music player when you're actually playing a song on your phone so with this one i think it has add more aesthetic and appealing view to the music player and what i like most too is when you lock your screen and then you try to just check on your lock screen you can still see how the music player looks like and it's very cool so with this when you are done and then you probably want to just take off everything from your screen and then you just bring your app drawer down you're gonna see that the app you're actually using is stuck there and when you try taking it off from your screen it actually doesn't move so you can see beneath right here active app and it's gonna tell you this app is actually active and directly you can just stop it from here and everything is actually gonna go away that is one thing i like about this new android 13 and if in case maybe you've seen something you like so far too just stay in the comment section and let's check out the next thing so another thing i found very helpful too is the new clip board editor which is one of the favorite features on this new android 13 beta 1 and when you try copying something from a page or anywhere you feel like you want to copy you tap on copy and then you're going to get a pop-up like how you screenshot something on your device and then you tap on the pencil it brings you to a page where you're going to be able to edit whatever you copied and even you can just edit them and then copy it right at the left top corner or you can just tap on share like this and then you can just share to anyone you feel like you want to share and that's pretty much very cool it's not as if maybe when it just bring you to this side it's been deleted from the clipboard you can still find them around when you go to your clipboard right there and that is basically very cool another one cool thing too about it is when you try saving the picture from your screen like this and then you tap on this section right here and then you click on copy you're going to see the pop-up right there still and then you're going to be able to just edit the picture right away from your editor and that is pretty much very cool so this is one thing too i like so far about the android 13 beta 1 and it's mind-blowing so far i think google is actually doing a very great job right here and in case maybe you like this feature too you just give it a thumbs up and let's check out the new thing google actually brought to us too so one of the sweetest thing i also found when i installed this on my google pixel 6 is face unlock so Literally, we were actually wanting to see if Face Unlock was going to be around anytime soon. And, and I think Android 13 is actually going to bring Face Unlock onto our device. So when you try typing Face Unlock on your phone, you're going to see Face Unlock right here and then Face and Fingerprint Unlock. But immediately you try tapping on it, it's actually going to take you to a section where you're not even going to see the Face Unlock or Face Fingerprint um, right there so i think maybe google is actually working things out and maybe in the later updates it's actually going to be brought to us and that is pretty much very cool so some bugs i've seen so far on this new os is system wide right here which is not really working well like it used to be and when you try searching something it brings you web search too which wasn't in its extent so i think it's a bug on this new os which google should actually work on it and also the qr code scan too doesn't work you can get the toggle right there from the quick settings but it doesn't work and that is one thing i also noticed 
about this new OS and I think maybe Google is actually going to work it out and that is pretty much very cool. So that is all I've seen so far and in case maybe I omitted something, you can just state in the comment section and also my final thoughts, I'm not going to really advise you to just install this version on your device or daily driver. Maybe you can wait till beta 3 then you can just install that on your daily driver because this is not stable yet and there are some features which are not working like system wide and then the QR code scanner not working and some other stuff are not really working. Scrolling through this is not really cool to because when you go to your wallpapers and style it's a bit laggy and also i think there are some bugs and then it wouldn't be very advisable for you to just install it on your daily driver so that is all i want to share with you and in case you like this video just give it a thumbs up in case you want to just know how to install it so i'm going to leave the video in the description and you can check out this playlist right here in case you want to know more apps you can install on your android device and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace